Hello, Guido here from blockbuilders.net and today I want to show you how the exchange Kraken works. So first of all, Kraken was founded in 2011, so they have been around quite a while or quite long. It's one of the oldest exchanges there is and the headquarter is in the US in San Francisco. It's one of the biggest exchanges in the crypto space. When you go to coinmarketcap.com, you can actually go to exchanges here and then you can see a list of exchanges and you can see they have a very high exchange score of 7.6. So they are the fourth best exchange here and their trading volume was uh, more than 400 million. So more cryptocurrencies worth more than 400 million were traded in the past 24 hours on that exchange. If you don't have a Kraken account yet, I will put down a link in the description that you can use to sign up and sometimes they have specials when you use that link to sign up. So once you have an account, um, that's basically the first thing you see, your dashboard. And in order to trade on Kraken, the first thing we need to do is we need to get verified. In order to do that, we go to that menu here and click get verified. And as you can see, there are three options here. And when you start out, you are a starter. However, if you want to deposit um, currencies like euros or Australian dollars or US dollars, um, you need to have the intermediate verification. And then you also have like higher limits in terms of bank transfers. So for example, you can transfer up to 100K per day um, and you can do um, unlimited cryptocurrency deposits and cryptocurrency withdrawals up to 500k per day. So quite a lot actually. And you can trade with margin and use staking and so on. So it definitely makes sense to get verified here. All you have to do is just upload a photo ID of yourself and then it usually just takes, as it says here, four to five minutes um, to get verified. And the next thing you need to do is, um, in terms of security, you need to set up two-factor authentication and with your Google Authenticator, for example, in order to be able to trade on Kraken. So once you have that, you don't just need your password to log in, but you also need um, the two-factor code in order to log in. And it makes your account way more and secure than it is with just a password. So once we have that, the next thing we want to do is we want to deposit some money in order to be able to trade there. And depositing money is basically here under funding. So most of the times um, this menu icon here is called wallet. So on Binance, it's called wallet. On other exchanges, it's called wallet. However, um, Kraken calls it funding. And once you click there, you can basically see your account balance and your recent transactions. And the next thing we want to do is we will click on deposit and then you can either deposit currencies. Um, I'm, I'm in Germany, so let's deposit some euros. Just select euros and then you have the option to either um, fund directly or fund manually. I will show you the difference when I click fund directly and you um, I need to select my bank. For me, it's Revolut and then um, it shows me the web interface of my bank. I can log in into that and then it automatically sends 100 euros from my bank to Kraken. However, if you don't want to use that or your bank is not on the list, you can also do um, fund manually and that basically gives you a bank address, a SIPA address and where you can send your money to. Um, it's really important that the name of your bank account is the same than the name um, in your Kraken account. So don't use the account of your wife or someone else and just make sure you are using um, the account of um, or your own account basically. So that's basically it 
in terms of deposits when it comes to euros. And of course, you could also deposit um, cryptocurrencies. So all the cryptocurrencies that are traded on Kraken are also available for depositing something. So you just click on depositing or deposit and then you can um, get a Bitcoin address, for example, or an Ethereum address and send some money to it. And um, you can also, of course, withdraw any cryptocurrency or transfer them from your spot wallet into your futures wallet. And we will get to that later on. In terms of fees, um, if you deposit something, it's always free. So if you deposit cryptocurrencies, it's free. If you deposit euros or any other currencies like Australian dollars, it's also free. Um, however, if you want to withdraw something, um, so for example, Bitcoin, and then you just need to give them a Bitcoin address where they send the Bitcoins to, and you're basically paying a fee, but the fee is almost similar to the network fee you, are, would, you would be paying anyway if you would send your Bitcoins from one wallet to another wallet. So it's usually here around two to three dollars. It really depends. And for some cryptocurrencies, it's even cheaper. And you can also um, withdraw euros or other currencies. And there you just need to select um, the SIPA version. And then you can add your bank account. And withdrawing cryptocurrencies basically costs you around one euro. It depends which service you are using. However, it's between 90 cents and one euro. And it's usually uh, near to instant, at least for SIPA. So it usually arrives on the same business day. So they are quite fast. The same is true for deposits. And if it is a regular business day, it usually arrives on the same day. So that's basically it in terms of deposits and withdrawals. So let's have a look at trading. So there are basically two options to trade on Kraken. The first one is called instant buys. So you get there if you click on buy crypto here and then you can basically buy or sell cryptocurrencies. Just click buy, select your cryptocurrency and then you need to add a credit card or um, send some euros there. However, I wouldn't recommend that option because it's also the most expensive one. So for example, if we look at the fees, for instant buys, the fees are around 3.75% um, and plus 25 cents. So if you are buying cryptocurrencies worth 100 US dollars, you are basically paying $4 in fees, which is quite high. Usually the fees are around um, 0.26%, so way cheaper than the instant buys. So I wouldn't recommend using that for buying or selling because it's really quite expensive. So the better way to do that would be to go on to, to trade here and then we have the advanced interface and then you can just select your trading pair, for example, Bitcoin against Euro and you can select the amount you want to buy or sell so right now we are buying then you can select a market order and then you just click on buy btc with euros you could also select how you want to pay the fees with euros or btc however it doesn't make a difference the fees are always the same and don't select any leverage here because then you would do margin trading so don't do that and you can select when the order will be executed and I would always recommend doing that um, immediately. So then you click buy and the order will get filled immediately. So you will immediately have your Bitcoins in your wallet or in your funding um, here. And you can of course also sell it. And when you have Bitcoins, you just select the amount you want to sell and click sell BTC. And there's also the option to do a limit order. It's actually pretty straightforward. You just select the amount you want to buy 
the Bitcoin price for one BTC is currently 21,572. And you can say, okay, I want to buy if the price drops to 20,000 euros per one Bitcoin. Even if you want to buy just 0 0.01 Bitcoin, you still need to add the price for one Bitcoin here. And then you can click buy with euros. And then the order will be written in the order book under open orders here and will stay there until the price drops to 20,000 euros. If it never drops to that level, it will basically stay here forever. However, you can cancel it manually anytime. And selling with the limit order is the same. You can say, okay, I want to sell my Bitcoins if the price goes to 25,000 euros, for example, and then you click sell and it will go to open orders here. So that's basically it. They also have something that they call Kraken Pro. So um, if you want a different interface, you can also use Kraken Pro. It uses the same wallet and you basically just select your trading pair here. We have Bitcoin against Euro here and you can select buying or selling um, a limit or a market order. You just select the amount here and you click buy BTC or a limit order. You can say, okay, you want to buy if the price drops to 20,000 euros. You can select, for example, 0 0.01 BTC and click buy here. So that's um, basically the pro interface and that looks pretty similar to other exchanges like FTX and Binance and all the other exchanges out there. So you can also use that interface. That's basically the pro interface. And one more thing we want to look at is you can also do futures trading. Um, in order to do that, you just click on futures trading here and then you can trade a futures. And when you trade futures, you are basically buying a contract and you are speculating on the price of the underlying asset. So you can say, okay, you want to go long or short and you can do a market or a limit order. Limit order, you can again say, okay, you want to go short if the price reaches 23,000 euros and then you need to transfer some funds from your, we had that earlier, from your spot wallet to your futures wallet and then you can basically place your sell order here and it will go into the order book until the price reaches that level or you can say okay i want to go long with the market order you just need to add the quantity you want to buy or sell and then you are basically paying or and um, placing an order however um it's way more expensive to trade um futures because you are basically paying funding. So right now funding is negative. It could also be positive. So if you are short, you are basically paying 0.0022% every hour. However, the funding rate can change every hour. If you are long right now, you would actually get money um, every hour. However, the funding rate can also turn positive at any time. So um, sometimes you get money, sometimes you sell money. However, um, you have to pay money. However, uh, most of the times, if the market sentiment is positive and um, it costs you money to stay um, long, if the market sentiment is negative, it basically costs you money to be short. So in a bull market, it costs to be long. In a bear market, it costs to be short. So that's basically it in terms of futures. Um, I would also recommend use using isolated margin um, and no leverage or at least um, not more than two or three X leverage and um, because you can easily get liquidated. However, um, I will probably do a separate video about futures trading. It's just um, here you can still trade futures. For example, as I said, I'm from Germany and we are not allowed to trade futures on Binance anymore. So and Kraken still gives us the option to trade futures. Um, Let's have a look at the fees again. We already said um, depositing something is free for withdrawing. You're basically just paying the network fee or around one euro for euro withdrawals. And yeah, besides that, there are more or less no other fees. So you don't pay anything. If you have money on Kraken, they don't charge you anything. 
So it's basically just when you are trading, you are um, having some fees that you need to pay. However, the fees are actually quite low. And one more thing we can look at is the earn section here. As you know, there are some proof of stake cryptocurrencies like Polkadot or Tezos or Cardano. Um, and you can stake them in order to get a reward. So it's basically an interest and Kraken basically does that for you. So you can basically stake, if you have Polkadot, you could stake Polkadot here and then receive a reward. And the reward is basically paid. It really depends on the cryptocurrency either weekly or twice a week. And you can of course unstake it anytime and then you can withdraw it or sell it. So it's not for a fixed amount of time. It's basically um, flexible. So you can stake and unstake anytime. That's basically it. If you have any questions, please feel free to use the comments down below. If you like that video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. And thanks for watching.